Hi everyone, this is the unboxing of the TI uh, 30XA, number one branded, recommended by teachers, okay? General Math, Algebra, General Science, Scientific Calculator, one, one line screen and General Math and Science Function, SAT, ACT and AP approved, battery power, so no solar cells. This is, I got this one on Target for ten dollars um, ten digit display gives you the um, for um, scientific notation um, and here it says it's the basic version one line uh, one variable or or two variables that's interesting um, this has a, f a fraction decimal conversion that's nice trig log and exponents. Cut and paste, it can't. Math print, um, that's a certain form of look and feel. Step-by-step uh, -step fraction simplification, that's interesting. Only the TI uh, 34 does that. XY tables to do stats, no. Complex numbers, no. The TI 36X Pro is the more advanced calculator, but it doesn't seem to have that step-by-step -step fraction simplification. Well, that's kind of weird, right? It should, but it doesn't. Um, made in the Philippines. Seems like this one has been updated at uh, 2019. And then you have a phone number that you can call, I guess, to help get some help. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, open this and there's probably hopefully there's some uh, directions in here I'm pretty sure there is and when you do this at home have an adult do this for you you know don't you, know, you can cut yourself very easily hmm. and I don't want to tear the instructions but it, or scratch the calculator I'm sure there's a best way of opening these by the way if you go to Target and get something like this these are in the electronic section not the back to school section okay oh yeah very similar very nice, look at that. This, this type of instruction set is, uh, has been around for a long time, even back in the 80s uh, when I had my first calculator, TI calculator. Look at that. Um, solar, and it gives you all these um, functions. Very nice. And then it tells you how to turn it on. Arithmetic, percentages, fraction, very nice, very, very, very nice. Powers, logarithmic, angles, DMS, degrees, minutes, and seconds. Rectangular, polar, polar to rectangular, trigonometric, hydro, um, hyperbolic, okay. One variable stats, seems like you get the mean, population, standard deviation, the sample standard deviation, how many how many data points, one variable stats, that's nice. Probability, clearing, clearing and correcting, constants. Hmm. Hmm, that's interesting. Don't know what that is. Memory, order of operation. That's interesting. That says parentheses. That makes sense. Single variable functions that perform the calculation and display the results immediately, combinations and permutations, order of operation, huh? powers and roots, multiplication, addition, and I guess all operations. Notations, uh, looks like you can do the scientific notation. That's interesting. Um, and you can set the fixed numbers for, I guess, um, what do they call that? Um, um, I'll remember. 
as in chemistry significant digits. There we go. Uh, display indicators. You have many different indicators. Air conditions. Hmm. In case of difficulty, like something's wrong with the battery or something. Okay. What else? Battery. Oh, there's a battery replacement. Oh, yes. Now, why would it say here TIXA Solar? Also, there's a solar version of this. Oh, that's too bad. I would have wanted the solar version. Probably cost a little more. Uh, services. You can take it somewhere. Warranty. Okay. No index. That's that's so like. It'd be nice if there was an index, like for let's say, um, absolute value or something. I don't think this one has it. But okay. That's nice. Very lightweight. Very lightweight. A little bit challenging to pull it out. But very easy to snap in. Uh, very interesting texture here. Tells you what type of battery you have. Looks like you have one of those batteries. An A76 1.5 volt 110 milliamps. Okay. This is nice. This is all this usually are in TIs. Not at all of the TIs though, but it does have this card. That's nice. Um, tells you some, some operations. And then it slides very nicely. Okay. Um, color palette is nice, it's green. I've never seen that before. Okay. So Pretty straightforward, you can turn it on. That's nice, right? Uh, what else? Then you have um, the DRG, uh, rad, grad, degrees, uh, log, natural log, EX, um, 10 to the X, the signs, the arc signs, ah, this one is, uh, um, this is the powers, this is the X to the Y, this is any, any uh, root. That's nice. What's the square root right here? X squared, 1 over X, that's nice. Pi, mm, nice. The sum of X, nice key sum of X, more, more of a, um, for statistics, instead of hitting the memory key, which... I don't see a memory key here at the moment. That's nice. Uh, double E for exponents. Uh, what else? What else is in here? Mm, the population standard deviation on the green. The, stand, the sample standard deviation right here on this button. X bar. N. Sum of X. Sum of X squared. P and R. R and P. Mm, I don't think that's a fraction. I'm not sure what that is. Again, it would be interesting to know. Um, permutation, combinations. I'm not sure. Flow, sci scientific maybe notation, engineering, factorial percent, x to the third, which is kind of weird being down here, but it's there. The third root of x right here, or a third root of a number. Fractions to decimal, that's here. ABC. Uh, improper, fra uh, improper fraction is the green one. This is a mixed number, this button here. And then these are other things, store and recall, I guess. What of the X we said. And this is the plus or minus key. This is interesting. They don't have a, a, a slash here, but okay. Uh, TI30XA, very nice, very clean. Um, you know, um, so with this particular calculator, you don't press the square root first and then five. It's not an algebraic calculator per se. So you have to press five and then the square root. And you'll see what I mean in a minute, the differences. Very nice, very, very clean parentheses. Uh, if you compare that to the top end, the, the top end calculator is the, the TI 36X Pro. 
And it could look a little bit different. This one could have a silver button or something. But this is the, the pro version. You can see it's a little bit a little bit taller and fatter. Has um, a solar here. But in this one, if you turn this one on, right, um, you you got to do second. You got to put the square root and then the five and then enter. This is almost very similar in function, sort of, uh, compared to this guy, which is a TI eighty three plus. This these are the same company, um, but you can see here, this is a plus or minus key, and this is way different. It'll be interesting to know why that is. And then here is a, a negative, not a subtraction. This one uses a care key, which is this right here. This one has an X to the Y key, does it? I don't see it. It has to have something like that. Uh, let me see. What about this one? This one? Um, oh, let's see. Yes, Y to the X key. This one has a carrot. These two are the same, this one and this one. This one, the high-end one, I know it, it's here somewhere. I'll probably, oh, here it is, see? This one. This is um, this button and this button and that button are the same. Why are they different in the calculators? It's too bad because from, a, from the low end to a very high end, and this is not even, I don't think this is even the highest end, but very high end graphing calculator. Um, you would think it would be consistent in the, in the, uh, in the lineup. Because if you bought this when you were in junior or middle school, and in high school maybe, college, uh, and this one college or, you know, graduate school, that's too bad. It, it's, it's, it's different. So, you get a sense of these calculators. Um, and then this is not bad for a starting calculator. Of course, there are other starting calculators that you can, you can look at, like the uh, Casio FX260 Solar 2. This one's also not an algebraic calculator. This is the one that you press 5, and then you take a square root if you can find it here. I think it's it's where is it last time I saw it I don't think it's it's all here right here see so shift square root see same thing here five square root should give you very very exact same numbers um, there's also this one is not this is more of an algebraic calculator I think the Casio FX 300 ES plus let me turn it on, solar, solar. See, you have to press square root and then five, enter. Um, doesn't give you an answer, so I think you press square root, five, and then it put a period. Nope, that doesn't do it either. Uh, you probably have to change the mode. Um, hmm, how do you change the mode? Here, but we won't do it. Might take a little too long. Um, this, is, this is probably in a mode um, where you have to do some type of algebraic trick. Not algebraic trick. It's in the mode in the, in the calculator. Um, and I have the, the basic or basic. This is the one that you find at the 99 cent store. Um, let me turn on. It's not solar. Not very hard to see, isn't it? It's probably here. There you go. You can see it now. Um, so the TI-30XA, again, is the low end, and, and, I, and I'm sure they have even a lower end. I, they do, actually. I just don't know um, where that calculator is. But there is a super low end version. It's a nice blue one. Um, very nice to use in the field. Uh, this one's really nice. Um, and then these two are the same price. Um, when they're on sale, this is, these are like less than ten dollars. Well, this one is too. This one over here, you you um, back in the day at the ninety nine cent store, they were ninety nine cents. Not anymore. They're less than five. But this one in particular, um, again going back to the TI thirty XA, 
um, has no solar panel. So let me turn this off, maybe a second. Probably, oh, here, it's off, there's an off button. Um, way different, and, it, and I haven't done this one yet, but I will soon. The TI-30X2S, and you can see that the button layout is a little bit different, the color is, and so forth, right? And it's more an algebraic version than this one, because this one has two screens, more of an algebraic, and they must have a, a word for that. It's not math print, and then this one. And if you want to be really fancy, um, I did show you the, the high-end one, the TI-36X Pro. You could get this other one. It's not sold in the US. You have to get it to, through a third party, but the TI-30X Pro math print. Very nice calculator. Very, very, very nice. Um, even the, the look and feel is very, very cool. Okay, so you have a lot of options to choose from, um, but the TI-30X is great, it's a great starter, not algebraic though. They all have a, they all have their quirks and they all have their limitations. But uh, overall, even the low-end calculator has the mean, median mode, no, I'm sorry, the mean, the mean, the standard deviation for the population and for the for the sample, it has the sums and, you know, it's, it's a good starter calculator, one variable stats, the TI-30XA. All right, if you like this content, please give it a thumbs up. Please show it to your friends, to your teacher. Um, soon I'll be doing a TI-30XA, doing some, like, you know, things on how to use a calculator. Um, and um, I hope you have a great semester. Bye-bye.